Hi friends! So I'm so excited to do this video. This is one of the videos that I have also been just watching day in and day out on YouTube and it's called What's in My Hospital Diaper Bag. So these are just the essentials that I'm going to use um, to take to the hospital to await the birth of my firstborn son. So as you can see, it's pretty overly packed. I'm sure it's not going to be this packed on a day-to-day -day basis once he's here, but because it's my first time, I'm trying to take as much of the things that I can based on what I saw that people take and a little bit of kind of my own stuff. So my diaper bag is the freshly picked um, bag. I love this bag from the day I saw it. It's been my favorite. It's big, it fits all the things. So let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing we see here is a blanket. So um, I wanna take pictures of the baby um, when he's in that thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> it's that cart they roll them into the room but i know it usually has like the hospital blanket under which is so ugly and i do want to take cute pictures of him in the hospital so i'm taking this little blanket here to put under him so the pictures can be cute and he can be cozy inside the bag i've got a ton of stuff for him now one of the things that my husband and i have been doing throughout the entire pregnancy is that we read to him at night um, we both take turns uh, reading and sometimes he'll start reading and then I'll finish it or vice versa. So I'm just going to take this little book for him um, to read to him in case he's ever crying. Um, hopefully he will remember our voices and um, stop the crying at night. So I'm just taking a little book just in case you never know. Um, inside this pocket I have little scissors in case we have to cut his little nails. Um, these are from Bye Bye Baby. They're very practical. I have a little bag from Arm & Hammer. And this is just to keep a dirty diaper or anything, any accidents that might happen on the way home from the hospital. So I have this little extra bag in here. I have his passies. Um, These are sterilized. I put them in a little Ziploc snack bag um, for now. Then I have this, which is just to keep any soil um, clothes or anything that gets dirty that we need to bring back home. Instead of uh, putting it in a plastic bag, um, this is perfect because you kind of roll it up and then you snap it shut. And this is amazing. And I'll link all these little things down below in case you are interested. And this is something that I'm gonna always keep in my, home, in my diaper bag no matter what. Then I have these burp cloths from Burp Speed. And these are so soft and so comfy. And this is just kind of like, to put it over here. You burp the baby. And these are just amazing. And I love Burt's Bees. It's all like organic cotton. So it's really good for the baby. So yeah, taking a few of these. I have this little um, sort of like a quilted, uh, just, I wouldn't say it's a sheet, but it's something. And it's just so cute and cozy. And this is another thing we can use to kind of like throw over ourselves and you know, have the baby on us. Um, if, you know, our parents want to carry the baby or our friends and family, you know, obviously this is really important to have things like this because they need to put it over their shoulder um, and then they can carry the baby. I have some little mittens and I love these because they kind of snap. So one of the things that I hear all the time is that they fall off the baby and, you know, babies can scratch themselves because they're born with long nails. So I'm taking these just in case we do end up using them. And I like these because they're foldable, so you can have two different prints. And this is very, um, it says that this part of the print is, the black and white is, uh, helps engage the mind of the baby or whatnot. I don't know, but it's cute and it's practical and effective. I have some blankies here. So I have this, which is from the Miracle Blanket, and this is a swaddle. And I love this one. I love this print. Now, if you saw my what's in my hospital bag video, some of the clothes that I'm taking for myself and my husband um, to await the arrival of our son, um, my robe and my pajama is a mint green. So I really love this. Um, I visualize myself taking the picture with that and then our baby <laughs> swaddled up in this little thing. So it's going to look really nice. And I love it. It's got like a little camper. It's just so cute. I love it. Okay, so I also have the sack. This, this, it's from Carter's, yeah. 
So this is a sleep sack. And these are great. And so this is awesome, especially when they're trying to weigh them at the hospital. Like every day you can put them in a sleep sack and they, you know, they won't be wiggling around. It's really cozy for nighttime sleep as well. So hopefully he likes them. I know it's a hit or miss for babies. Some babies like them, some don't. I only bought him one because I didn't want to be that person that goes crazy buying things that the baby might not want or like. So hopefully he likes it. And then I have this beautiful swaddle that I bought from Milkmaid's Goods. And this has a matching hat. And this is something that he's gonna be wearing during his first few days with us in the hospital. And I really, really love it. And it's so soft, so soft. This is one of my favorite, favorite swaddles of his. I love the print. I'm a huge like Buffalo check fan. Um, and so the blue is just absolutely gorgeous. And this material is butter soft. On the side pockets, if you look in here, oh, there's a lot of compartments. Um, it has a changing pad, and then it has this like insulated side for usually you put the milk in there. Obviously, I'm not putting a milk in there right now because, well, he's not here yet, and I ain't pumping. Um, but this is another thing I have in here, and it's uh, Arm and Hammer. And these are the little same baggies I showed you earlier. This is just the little refills you put them in, or you take them out. And um, this is where you put the dirty diapers, or dirty clothes, or if you vomit, whatever. Throw them in there. Must have. Diaper rash cream. I have the triple paste medicated ointment for diaper rash. And these are super amazing and recommended by pediatricians. And then I have just this hand sanitizer from Baby Bum. And this is for anyone who wants to be around the baby. Super easy and it smells really good. And then I have this little hairbrush. So cute. And then I've got some newborn diapers. Now, I'm taking newborn diapers because I've been told that the diapers that they offer at the hospital are size one. And while our baby is very big and he might fit into a size one diaper, I don't wanna take any chances. So, I mean, I'm sure they have newborn sizes, but either way, I'm taking a few just in case. If they fit in my bag, it doesn't hurt to take them. If I don't end up using them, I bring them back home, no big deal, but at least I have them with me. And then I have Oh, yes. So I have the, the Lansino nipple cream. I heard this is amazing. I do plan on breastfeeding, so hopefully this will come in handy if I have any kind of pain or anything like that um, during breastfeed. So The last thing on my bag is this. Now, this was a gift from my sister, best friend, and godmother of my child. And this brought a whole set. It has like ones that say, feed me, entertain me, and it's for like toys and to put like the pump and all that stuff. But this one in particular says dress me. And this is the one that I keep in the bag. So in here I have all the stuff um, that I have for him to just dress him at the hospital. So I have this little cute hat which matches um, this. It comes together when you buy this set um, at Milkmaid Goods. Um, so yeah, he has a little hat. I have another little hat of his that says his name, which is Nathan. And this hat goes with this set. And this is a, a hospital set that I got from Caprilina. And it's a beautiful brand by an amazing uh, young lady that is a friend of mine. And I'll link uh, her website down below. She makes gorgeous, gorgeous hand embroidered items for babies. And really, realistically, she makes it for anybody, but her sort of her niche is babies and so I ordered a bunch of stuff for Nathan and look at this how cute with his initials so he'll be coming home in this and then I had this custom design for him as well and it has his initials at the top and it's one of these little um gowns for them to sleep in it's comfortable and it's easy to change them and it has Peter Rabbit which I love so yeah I have this little hospital gown I have another little hat and then I've got some cute newborn onesies there. I have another little onesie here. And I took little shorts for him because that's so cute. Probably won't wear the shorts, but I took it anyway. I have a pair of socks. These are from Ralph Lauren. The little blue horse. So cute. Just in case. And I have, this is a three-month size outfit 
um, a onesie because I didn't want to just take newborn. He is a big baby. So just in case he doesn't fit into newborns, I'm taking this one. And then I have this little cute outfit as well. It, this is so soft. I wasn't a huge fan of the little critter designs because they're like little aliens, but it grew on me. But anyway, it's just the material of this is delicious. Like I want to live in it. I wish it came in my size. And then I have this, which is adorable. And it's kind of like a terry cloth. No, not even, it's not a terry cloth. It's like a jersey cloth, I'm sorry. And it has a little teddy bear here. And this is from Baby Gap. Also amazingly delicious. And then this was a gift from one of my best friends um, when she found that I was pregnant. So I'm taking this also for a picture in the hospital. It says Baby Bravo, May 2019. So yeah, those are the basic outfits I'm taking for him. And I didn't want to overload it on the clothing. I don't think it was necessary. So I packed it up in this and I think we'll be good with that. And then in the front pocket here, I have just some wipes, some huggies here in case, you know, we have a little anything we need um, in the car or whatnot. So I have this and I plan on keeping this here just for the long haul. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And then another gift, it's not part of the diaper bag, but I think it's, it's something I overlooked and I didn't even think about it. And when I received it, I was just like my own. Um, this was a gift from my boss at work and it's a, called a baby briefcase. They sell them at Nordstrom. And basically what it is, is that you keep all the important paperwork in here that they give you at the hospital. Now, obviously they give you the baby's footprints and all the information and, you know, a bunch of papers. And so with all the chaos going on, sometimes you fold it, you throw it in your bag. They get disorganized, they get thrown everywhere. And I feel like if you're like me and you like to be organized, this is the best gift ever. Um, so I put, it comes with a little tag. So I put his name here and you can buy them for every child you have and you keep all their stuff organized in one place. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this with me. I already put in some important paperwork and information that I need to have with me during my hospital stay. Um, so that's all in here. And I plan on taking this alongside, so. Yes, guys, this is what's in my hospital bag and, well, what's in the baby's hospital diaper bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you like so many of these videos have helped me decide what to take to the hospital. Have a wonderful day and have a healthy and happy delivery. Bye. Wonderful day and have a healthy and happy delivery. Bye.